In this lesson, we're going to study the music of Chuck Berry, who wrote countless classic tunes, including Maybelline, Roll Over Beethoven, and John and Be Good. And in this lesson, we're going to look over uh, his tune, John and Be Good, which I just played. I'm going to show you guys this note by note, um, go over the chords, etc. And throughout his lifetime, Chuck Berry was known as the father of rock and roll. So what better person's music to study than the true father of rock and roll? So let's go ahead and dive right in. So Johnny Be Good is really just an A blues. And you can think of the intro part that Chuck Berry plays as a melody that you can play over an A blues. So the first part of what Chuck Berry plays sounds like And that's really, this is all sort of in the key of, you know, A blues, A mixolydian, but this starts out with a little double stop shape that's really just, you know, sort of an A. We'll start a fret below and slide in. Five, seven. And that's just a, you know, barring down our index finger on the top two strings. And that's just kind of a walk down. Eight, seven, five, slide in, seven, seven on the A. And then what I'm playing is so that part right there is slide into six, five, seven, five, slide down to four, seven four. And then for this next part, so what I'm doing there is I'm not going to tell you that it's, you know, slide, bend, slide, 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 bend. Really kind of, you can do whatever you want there. Um, I'll usually do a slide, bend, And sort of alternate between you know sliding and bending and you can probably say you know why not just bend everything or why not just slide everything but i think there's a slight difference with each you know a slide versus a bend and i think it's cool to have some of that variation in there so after that part so that part is five eight Five, seven, eight. It's that part again. Seven, uh, six. So that part, that's sort of a sweep, uh, just up an A major triad. So that's the shape right there, seven, six, five, five. So sweep, eight, seven, five. And then we just go straight into uh, an A blues. Okay, so once you have a grasp of the notes, I'm going to play this really slowly and try to play along with me here. So let's start from the top. Now you know how to play one of the most classic rock and roll tunes of all time. And pretty much any time someone hears, they'll instantly know that it's Johnny B. Good. All right, so I'll leave it there and happy practicing.